Okay, in preparation for the Valve Index HMD, uh, I know most of you realize that it has that kind of neat little frunk area, and I've been thinking of ways that I could actually utilize that. So I, I, I was thinking if, if you're a person who has full body tracking on your feet and hip, it uh, might be really cool to build that right into the frunk area so you don't have to have the trackers off somewhere in the room where they might get occluded. It might be better for tracking purposes to have it right up there in the front close to the body so that the, re the receiver uh, functions effectively. And I've tried a lot of different things. Uh, I purchased several different USB hubs before I had a clear idea of how big that front space is. You, you know, you only have pictures to go off at this point, and it's hard to tell exactly how big that area is. And But they finally released this. Uh, this was an STL file that was made available to 3D print, and so I did, and it gave me an idea of what the actual space in the front is like. So we'll kind of go over the different options that I purchased. Uh, that might fit in this space, but uh, it'll kind of give a good reference point for people who are going to start modding this thing. There. When I looked at the Vive tracking controllers, or the little USB hubs, you can see that it's actually going to be fairly hard to find a way to mount this horizontally inside that front area. So let me just show you a few things that I uh, purchased to tr try to make work. One of the first thoughts was, hey, I'll just use a Raspberry Pi 0W and mount that in there with some USB ports. So I thought, OK, well, let me grab this MakerSpot USB add-on that kind of mounts on there. And I thought it might work because it has those three USB ports. But you can see that with these coming off of the edge like that, once you have the USB dongle inside there, it's really not going to fit. It's, it's just way too wide. You could align it like this, but it would be sticking out quite a ways. So that didn't look like it was going to be a valid solution. So I tried a few other things. I looked and got this Sabrent 4 port USB 2.0 hub. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So obviously all of these things will have to be modded slightly. But this one, you know, it's really pretty slim. But you can see that it probably actually is not going to fit inside that front space. Especially once you drop the uh, Vive tracker dongle in there so there's just not quite enough room there for it to fit so that was a no-go of course I tried this Orico four port I don't know what I was thinking with this one it's just way too big but uh, it would be actually a pretty good wall mount solution but not really gonna work for the inside of the HMD. So I've gone on and on about what didn't work. So let me tell you what I think will actually work. And the first one here is actually the cheapest. It's an Insten and it was about $4 off of eBay. And I think it could be modded to be pretty decent. So you can see that it's probably right around the right size that it needs to be. Uh, especially once you, uh, well, I plan on opening this up and removing the casing and probably uh, soldering a USB lead onto this. And I think that might work really nicely. I'll have to rip it open and, and check the surface board. But I imagine the circ circuit board will be flat and it will fit right in there. And if it does, if it lies pretty flat, we should be able to just drop those uh, tracker dongles right inside there in a pretty good space configuration and I imagine the cover might still not go on but it, it could it might not but uh, that remains to be seen 
Hopefully Valve releases those uh, STL or CAD files that they've promised the community. But it's actually symmetrical and they're spaced out far enough that it could work pretty nice. But also I did find one other solution that's pretty plug and play. Um, and this is the Omvian USB 3, 3 port hub. And you can see this is actually a pretty decent solution that's right off the shelf. It might look a little weird because of the orientation of the USB ports, but uh, these will drop right in here. Let me drop a tracker on here, and then one in the front. And then that actually fits right in. And you can have three trackers right inside there, and it fits pretty decent. So I. I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is the fact that uh, the two USBs on the end are really close together. But anyways, if you're interested in this one, check the link uh, on the video and you can pick that one up. It's not very expensive and it might be pretty usable, but we won't really know until we get our headsets. So this could work fairly well. So, but I think what I'm going to go for in the end is probably this option here. I'm going to break this USB down, pull the covering off, and see if I can solder in a solution that's going to fit right in there. It's going to have consistent spacing between the trackers, and hopefully the cover might even close down on top of it. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. So anyways, I hope that uh, this has been a good exploration for those of you who are planning on uh, modding that little front space. Um, I'll, I'll post another video once I actually uh, re-solder this in. So expect a follow-up, and especially once I have the HMB, if this actually even works. But I should have another video once I uh, play around with a soldering gun and break this thing open. So anyways, thanks for watching, and hope this helped.